Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, Stu Clark. Uh, been a bit of time in between videos lately. I uh, just had uh, been super busy with business. My partner had her gallbladder out a couple weeks ago. The cat was at the vet today. But as we all know, life happens. And uh, so yeah, unfortunately I haven't had a chance to. I've been I've been trying to get some videos done. I've got a bunch of videos about halfway done. Uh, but we'll be we'll be getting out, out there and kind of getting back and uh, getting back on track with some videos shortly. I figured today with firmware version 3.00 today uh, for the Nikon Z8, it would be a great way to uh, kind of get back into a real quick video here of how to install uh, firmware on Nikon Z camera. And this will apply to all the Z cameras, but today we're going to look specifically how to uh, install version 3.00 on the Nikon Z8. Uh, this firmware version is amazing. It's got some great features. Uh, I think the, the most amazing one from a wildlife photography standpoint is the uh, focus limiter. Uh, unfortunately for me, I shoot the FTZ adapted lenses. So this is a, a real reason I'll have to start shopping for, Z, uh, for a Z uh, long lens. Uh, so this allows you to actually kind of shorten up the range where you can make so the focus limiter, uh, the camera only focuses in a very short range. Really nice feature, especially doing any setup photography. Right now I'm doing a bunch of shoots in my yard uh, for Wild Birds Unlimited, and it'd be an amazing feature for that, where you can kind of, you can keep the uh, the focus zone uh, within, you know, a foot, one foot in front of the feeders, a foot behind the feeders, and that's the only, the range it's gonna be uh, focusing, looking for focus in. Uh, amazing new feature, but it is only available on the Nikon Z cameras. Uh, we'll kind of touching on that uh, in the next little bit here. Another really amazing feature I'm really looking forward to exploring is the pixel shift along with the focus shift. Uh, so basically it'll allow you to get 180 megapixel um, pixel shift photos that also have incredible depth of field. Uh, amazing feature. Uh, it's definitely going to chew up some hard drive space. Uh, you can, you'll be adding a, you're getting some pretty large files there. Uh, but really neat features that uh, I'll be doing a video on that one shortly. Uh, but for today, we're just going to do a quick dive into how to set up and install the uh, firmware on a Z8 camera. Okay, let's get into it. So first off, you need to jump onto the Nikon website. Uh, you notice uh, the, the home page now is a big splash uh, for the upgrades for the uh, Z8 firmware 3.0. Uh, so we want to click on software and we're going to go to firmware updates. We're going to click on the mirrorless cameras. We're going to go down to the Z8 or depending on which firmware, if you're looking to how to update any camera, uh, you can just kind of go to whatever camera you're looking to do the firmware updates on. And this will apply to all of the Nikon cameras for the process. You'll notice quickly before you do it here, you notice that there is a warning where it says to make sure you have either an FTZ adapted lens or a Z lens mounted to the camera prior to doing the update. You don't want to do this you don't want to be doing this update with a uh, third-party lens. Uh, it can make a conflict uh, when you're trying to do that, just to be aware of that. So we scroll down to the bottom, hit accept, and we're going to click download. So this now will download a .bin file, which is the actual firmware update. So once the file has been downloaded to your computer, you're going to go to the downloads section of the computer and you're going to plug in either a CF Express card or a, a, an SD card into your computer. And we're going to drag that .bin file to the root of the card drive. So you can see where mine, I've got the Nikon Z8. You want to make sure you drag that .bin file right to the Nikon Z8, not into the DCIM or the Nikon folders within the card itself, which is very, very important. If you don't do it, to the root folder, the camera won't find it. So now once it's, once you've got it uh, dragged over, just click on the card itself and just to make sure it's the, the Z8 uh, 0300.bin. You wanna make sure that file is showing under, like I said, at the root of the folder, right, sitting right at the top layer. And so once you've got the, the uh, .bn file on the card, you can plug it into the camera, turn the camera on, and we're gonna go to the wrench, which is the setup menu. We're gonna scroll right down to the very bottom. We're gonna go to, to firmware version, and we're gonna click off to the side, of, click off to the right. And now we're gonna have the option, if you've got the .bin file in the correct 
top layer of that folder, you will see the option to update here. And you'll see right now I'm at firmware 2.1, uh, the C version 2.10. So we're gonna click update and hit okay. Now the camera will show you, uh, do not turn it off, very important. Uh, so if you are, if you do have the camera on your lap, whatever, I do suggest putting the camera down just so you don't, you know, by reflex, turn the camera off, which is very important. Also, I shouldn't state before getting started with any of this, you want to make sure you have a, a brand new fresh battery installed and it, that you're uh, doing this all from a, a, a fully charged battery. Uh, it does take a few minutes for this firmware update to be installed. And then once it's installed, you just basically turn the camera on and off and you're good to go. You have for version 3.00 installed on your camera and you're able to uh, start diving into some of the new uh, amazing features that Nikon's released. Thanks for joining me today. Hope that was helpful. Until next time, we'll see you out there. Take care.